superstition and the sword ruled. It was a time of darkness. It was a world of fear. It was the age of gargoyles. Stone by day, warriors by night. We were betrayed by the humans we had sworn to protect, frozen in stone by a magic spell for a thousand years. Now here in Manhattan, the spell is broken and we live again. Defenders of the night. We are gargoyles. Previously on gargoyles, welcome back. You're finally home. You see me as I really am, child. Titania, Queen of Avalon. The boy must be taken to Avalon where he can be properly trained in his mystical heritage. No, you can't have him! Sleep! I am through playing games, mortal. I will not be denied! like the whole city's asleep. Oberon's handiwork. It must be. He's that powerful and we're taking him on? Why are we risking our necks to help Xanatos? I know the pain of being separated from my child. I would not wish it on my worst enemy. You've had quite an influence. It's mutual. <laughs> I want the child. And I will have it! This Oberon is like a force of nature. Let's just hope that Owen left us with enough defenses to weather the storm. Whoa! Looks like we've got bigger problems than we thought. I think we'd better hurry. You dare defy the Lord of Avalon? Then feel the power of my wrath! The force field's barely holding. Is it my imagination, or is Oberon getting smaller? Of course, Owen said it! Energy is energy! And even Oberon must have limits to his. If we can get Oberon away from the force field and make him use up his energy, we have a chance. What else did Owen tell you? That Oberon is vulnerable to iron. Let's see how Mechanical men in iron? Clever. But not nearly clever enough. Oberon! We know your intent. And we will not permit its success. I thought those creatures were your enemies. Never look a gift gargoyle in the mouth. Anything to keep Oberon burning up energy. What is this child to you, Goliath? He is not of your kind. No matter! It is wrong to take an innocent child from its parents! I am Lord Oberon! I judge what is right and wrong! Ah! Ah! Oberon! You decree that your magic will not hurt me or my clan! My decrees are mine to interpret! Good you, buddy! Magic can't 
defend against this iron. Then let's give him a haircut. <laughs> Mechanical pests! Forgive me if this question is indelicate, sir, but you hate your son-in-law and your daughter tried to steal your business. Why are you risking our lives to help them? Oberon is after my grandson, Vogel. This is family business. Understood, sir. Launch the Cybots. much more of this. We'll take whatever he throws at us and come back for more if that will help my grandson. Distract him! You are not the only stone figures which can come to life. Stand for no more meddling. You actually saved him. He could be useful if he wakes up. Sapping over on strength. You're a genius, sir. Anger clouds my judgment. I grow weary of this battle. Let frozen rain be your pain. The rotors are frozen. They're going down. Prepare for impact. Excellent piloting, sir. I failed him. I failed him. It's not over yet. You've given them a chance. went beneath the building, and the force field stops at ground level.
No man-made lightning rod can match the power of Oberon! So much for Owen's security measures. All our defenses, and he just keeps coming. But you're standing up to him. He's after my son. We haven't always seen eye to eye, David, but I have never been prouder to be your father. Thanks, Papa. Whatever happens, thanks. I want the boy, and I want him now. This is my home. I'll have to insist that you go. Leave this place, Oberon. You have no claim here. I'll leave soon enough. With the child! I am vulnerable to iron. You have hurt me. Hurting me was a mistake! Can't breathe. Finally, all the nuisances have been eliminated. I'm afraid, my lord, there's one nuisance left. Do you think a stone fist will stop me, human? Owen, I knew you'd come back. It was against my better judgment, Mr. Xanatos, I assure you. <sighs> Nevertheless... summons to serve a human. I know what you're thinking. How the mighty have fallen. But I can explain. Owen has all sorts of hidden talents. I am uninterested in your explanation. Stand aside or suffer the consequences. But it's such a good explanation. And I brought visual aids. Once upon a time, I spotted Queen Titania posing as the human Anastasia. You dare attack me? Don't interrupt. I'm on a roll. I was intrigued. What was so special about these mortals that would make the Queen tally among them? I decided to join the employ of Anastasia's husband, Renard, in order to find out. But who to be? What role should the puck play? And that's when I noticed one Preston Vogel, the stiffest and <clears throat> most wooden mortal on the face of the earth. The trickster has played many parts over the millennia, but never that of straight man. I determined to out Vogel Vogel and created... Owen the Burnett. I loved being Owen, but I hated working for Anastasia and Renard. Sweet kids, but boring. I much preferred their daughter, Fox, and her then boyfriend, David Xanatos. They were many things, but never dull. The truth is, we made quite a team. I couldn't resist revealing myself to Xanatos and offering him this delightful choice. One wish from the Puck, or a lifetime of service from Owen. He chose Owen. I can see his choice impressed you, Puck. 
So much so that you side with this human against your lord and master. Not if you don't make me. Can't you forget about the kid and put off the gathering for a few more centuries? I'm sure we'll be happy to report to Avalon by then. Oberon does not compromise. Oberon come on! Let us conclude this business, so that we may return home. As you wish, my lord. It is time to relinquish the child. Over my dead body. As you wish! I'm trying. How did you do that? I don't know. I don't know. I just couldn't let him take my baby. I have had enough! Wait, Your Majesty. This changes everything. Fox's outburst renders this battle unnecessary. If she can tap a talent so woefully underdeveloped, the child can certainly be taught to harness his powers here. He needn't go to Avalon to realize his full potential. He can stay with his parents. Frankly, it would be less trouble for you. Hmm. But the gathering has begun. Who would train the boy in the use of his powers? What about him? Yes. What about him? I've got a sunny disposition, and I'm always kind to animals. Puck would make a fine teacher. He wishes to stay, and he is already protective of the boy. I suppose I could give the little tyke a few pointers? Very well, Puck. You have made your choice. And now you shall live with it. Forever. You are eternally banished from Avalon, Puck. Never again will you sample its paradise. No, wait, not eternally! We hereby strip you of all your powers, save when you are training or protecting the boy. Such is your punishment. So speaks Oberon. No, please, my lord, please reconsider. I'll do anything. Pathetic. Forgive me, my lord. You must do as you see fit. I will stay here with young Alexander. <clears throat> Come, my queen. Never have I so badly desired departure. What about the city? Everyone is still asleep. The humans will awaken in the morning. And this will seem not but a midsummer night's dream. Allow me one moment more, my lord. Be well, Fox. I plan to look in on you and Alexander from time to time. Must you? Why are you angry? Didn't things work out to your satisfaction? That hardly changes what you tried to do. What makes you think this isn't exactly what I've been trying to do from the beginning? Till we meet again. Which, for your sakes, had better not be soon. Is everybody in one piece? Yeah. Yes. I'm all right. I'm okay. Huh, yeah, barely. Hey, where's Goliath? Our work here is done. What? Without your help, I would have lost my son tonight. I owe you all a debt of gratitude that I may never be able to repay, but I will try. I promise. And I should trust this promise. 
after all that has passed between us. Still, I know from experience the transforming power of a child's love, and the future is not written yet. Manhattan. <laughs> Angie, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> 